This short video will show you how to export references from Google Scholar to EndNote. It's a recording from a live session. So I, I would recommend um, that if you're using Google Scholar, and you've probably already done this, is that you um, that you make a, a you know a Google account and you log in when you're using Google Scholar and that will give you access to um, this My Library function. So anything that you um, that you save in Google Scholar will be saved to your library. So let me just run a quick, um, you can see I've done this before, it's a bit of a Blue Peter moment. So, um, so I've got a search in Google Scholar and you can see the star icon here. So anything that you want to save through to um, EndNote, you can add things to your library using the star and when you go to your library you will see just like we had in OneSearch and that you'll see this very familiar from other databases you can select the items that you want to send through um, and tick those items that you want to send and then um, you can see I've got a mixture of uh, topics here apologies for that and then you'll see an export button at the top here and if we click on the export button you will see EndNote OK, so that will um, give us a file um, that EndNote can understand. Now, there is another way to do things without using the library. If you are using Google Scholar regularly, I recommend that you go up to the three lines at the top, the little options draw, if you like, and go down to settings. And then in the settings, you'll see at the bottom of the page, we have this here that says bibliography manager, and you can select to show links to import citations into EndNote and once you've saved that option you will see this import into EndNote button appears in Google Scholar and that's really handy because you don't need to go through by saving things to your library and exporting them from there you can do it quite quickly uh, straight straight from here so if I click the import into EndNote what we should see and I'm not seeing oh yeah, there it's come now so um, we will see a little um, file of my downloads tray on Google Chrome um, and it's a .enw file. So we ha we've had .ris and .enw is another file type that EndNote can understand. And if I just click on that to open with EndNote already open, you can see that it's, um, you will be able to see when I reshare my window, um, that it's imported into EndNote. So hopefully you can see that has appeared now in my EndNote library and that's brought through this article by uh, Augustine Park and you can see in the reference window here it's detected the type of document it is and it's brought through the author year title journal title volume issue and page numbers and that's everything I need to accurately um, reference a journal article if I just click on preview you'll be able to see that that's how the reference is going to be formatted in the Harvard style so again, as I said for OneSearch, and I'll say this again for, for every database, um, but especially with Google Scholar, um, because there's quite a diverse um, number of item types available through Google Scholar, it's not just journal articles, you do just need to spend a moment um, looking at the reference, making sure it is the right document type um, that you think it is. Sometimes things from Google Scholar will come through as a kind of generic document type. So you'll meet, need to make a decision about whether um, to treat it like um, it's a book. So perhaps a, a report you can treat like um, like a book if it's just a PDF found on uh, through Google Scholar. But if it's a journal article, treat it like a journal article and, put, and make sure the details are in the right fields. It's pretty good. Um, but I can't stress enough how important a bit of quality control is uh, with your EndNote library.